Hey guys, uh, this is Josh Hate Loop. I figured I'd go ahead and take this opportunity to just uh, put together a little bit of a, a video, uh, basically of me doing a quick, um, a quick uh, injection of uh, a water vapor into my engine to hopefully decarbonize uh, the the uh, pistons and the uh, valves and so forth. I've done this once and I had real good results. It uh, actually smoothed out the uh, idle um, quite significantly from what it was as well. Uh, engine just runs a lot smoother. And uh, so one thing I did notice um, over here is through my cyclonic separator I did have quite a bit of um, liquid water that came out through the uh, crankcase vapors um, or the CCV uh, flow so I went ahead and removed my um, glass container that way the water can just freely drip. So I certainly know um, since I had the vapors coming out of there I certainly know I was putting enough water vapor through the engine for it to do something if it was going to do something um, and as I found out it did seem to uh, help smooth out the idle pretty significantly. Well on some of my posts I described the way I, I disconnected my hoses here so I certainly wanted to make sure that I uh, showed how how I'm doing this and obviously it's real simple you just take off the uh, rubber hose uh, that used to be attached here and simply loosen up this clamp right here turn this guy up like you see and when you start the engine that allows you to just use a, a fine fine mist um, you know water sprayer like this it's got about 10 ounces of water in it uh, so it allows you to take a fine mist uh, water sprayer and uh, simply start the car, just let it idle, and just you know squirt a few times uh, through the intake here. So uh, let me go ahead and start up the um, car real quick. Bear with me, and I'll show you uh, as I uh, inject the water into it. the car is, is running and you can actually hear the EGR cycling back and forth probably because the uh, manifold absolute um, pressure sensor is not receiving the uh, signal it thinks it should so it's cycling that uh, EGR um, actuator there. So anyway now that the uh, car has started it is warmed up, fully warmed up and uh, we'll go ahead and inject our water and it's just simply doing this. Adjust this sprayer to the real fine mist. Just a little bit at a time. Don't want to overburden the engine. That is that's basically it. Just go ahead and uh, you know do that back and forth. Give it a second uh, like this to kind of um, you know go ahead and combust and uh, uh, burn through that that liquid water that we just sprayed in there. And back and forth until you you know you have your 10 ounces done. And uh, I'd break this up into a couple different uh, different applications. In fact, this is the second time I've done this. The first time I probably used maybe eight or 10 ounces of water. And this time I'll do another 8 and 10, uh, 8 to 10 ounces of water, and then I'm going to call it good. So anyway, uh, hopefully you guys will find this useful. Like I said, it made a difference in the idling uh, of my car, and I haven't noticed any increases in power per se, but I definitely noticed a, a much smoother running engine overall. So if you guys try it, uh, you know, just go, go careful, go slow. Um, don't put too much water in at one time. You know, we don't want to hydro lock the engine. Um, and, uh, you know, please let me know the results that you have. But anyway, all right, we'll catch you guys later. Bye.